There are many ROM files available on XDA, but only few out of the many turns out to be stable, or the ones that you can actually use as your daily driver. And with almost dozens of Android 8.1 ROMs available, here is what I think might be the best custom AOSP ROM for your Redmi Note 3. So this is a comprehensive review of Cardinal OS. Is this legitimately the best AOSP ROM? Let's find out. Hey what's up guys, Bushan here from our boy Expert. With that being said, let's get started. Let's talk about installation. There is a link in the description down below which will hook you up with all the required files and once done just flash the ROM out and then flash the unofficial 8.1 pico gaps and that's pretty much it for the installation part. Now as this ROM is an AOSP ROM, you don't get that much of customizations to play around with. But as compared to all the other AOSP ROMs available out there, you do get some sort of customizations in the wings tab. You can customize things like the UI style that is dark, white or wallpaper based. Completely change the tile layout of the notification tray. Customize the colors of your notification LED light which to be honest is super good. Set custom arts for your lock screen and various other tweaks can be done in the wings tab. This customizations might not sound like much, but considering the fact that it is just an AOSP build, the amount of custom settings it offers is really good. So the very first thing that comes in your mind as soon as you hear the word AOSP is stability and performance. And this ROM lives up to its expectations. This ROM is extremely stable when it comes to handling day-to-day -day tasks like opening and closing of apps, switching between recent apps, consuming media, app load times etc is real breeze on this ROM. Now as I'm not a gamer, I have not tried any sort of games on this ROM, but I'm pretty sure that this ROM will not at all disappoint you even if you are a hardcore gamer. Now if you have used MIUI with the Redmi devices and especially with the 2GB RAM variant if you even have one in 2018, you might have noticed poor RAM management issues here and there. But on the contrary, the RAM management on Cardinal OS is really impressive. Even heavy apps like Facebook, YouTube, Instagram etc stays in memory for quite a good time. Now of course, if you have a 2GB RAM variant like me, the RAM management will definitely not be top notch, but it's definitely gonna be better than your regular MIUI RAM management. Alright now, if you are a photoholic person or if you just like to click photos from a smartphone in general, then you might get disappointed by the stock camera app of Cardinal OS. Now don't get me wrong, the camera UI in itself is really good and it also provides you almost all the manual controls that you need in a smartphone like ISO, white balance, shutter speed etc. But I don't know if it's only me, I just don't like the UI of the stock camera app because I think that the UI is a bit too laggy and dated for my liking. So instead of the stock camera app, I prefer the modded Google camera app or the Google camera app in general. Now with the help of this modded Google camera app, you can click portrait images with the Redmi Note 3, which is super good. Now I have not tried it by myself because I was not able to get the portrait feature working on my Redmi Note 3. But if you want to know more about the devices that are supported by this modded Google camera app, my friend Dhananjay has made a really good video on the same. So you can watch it by clicking the i button right now. So as this ROM is based on Android 8.1 Oreo, not only you can get some amazing features like Bluetooth battery indicator, adaptive notification panel and some miscellaneous tweaks here and there, but due to the great optimization of this ROM, the battery performance is also up to the mark. I usually got about 6-7 to seven hours of screen on time with my normal usage that includes watching a shitload of YouTube videos, using social media and a little bit of browsing. Although the standby time is not that great, but it just worked fine. I usually got about 4-6% to of battery drop overnight, which is ok for me, but it may depend upon your usage pattern. Overall, I can say that the battery performance will not get a huge hit if you just flash this audio out. And talking about stability, almost all the basic things like fingerprint sensor, GeoBolt E, camera video recording etc work completely fine on this ROM. Although the fingerprint sensor works 80% of the times and due to its animation it feels a bit slow, but as Cardinal OS has regular OTA updates, I think this issue will be fixed anytime soon. 
So at the end of the day, Cardinal OS is really a great AOSP ROM and I haven't encountered any bugs with my 15 day of using this ROM. And as this ROM will get regular OTA updates, all the bugs will be fixed real soon. So if you were in the search of a stable AOSP ROM with some nifty customizations, this is the way to go. All the required links are in the description down below, so have a look. With that being said, I'm at a boy expert and I'm signing out. Bye. 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 Bye.